Okay, now the balance sheet, also known as the statement of financial position, is only divided into two parts. We have the what? Capital or the other liabilities and the assets. Capital, just as we said, is the what? Resources introduced by the owners of the business. Then the owners of the business may make what? Drawings out of the business. So these drawings is only drawings in cash and in goods is always deducted from where the capital account. Take note: drawings of cash and goods always deducted from what the capital account. Then the liabilities we have two types: we have the long term and we have the short term. Why do they differentiate the two? Long term is the one that's what obligation of the business for more than one accounting year. But short term liabilities is obligation of the business within an accounting year. Then the assets we have two types: fixed and current. What's the difference between the two? Fixed uh, fixed asset is an asset. That is usually used up for more than one accounting year. I told you. Current is the one you use up within an accounting year. So by the time you add up this and you take this minus this plus maybe this or this or two of them, you should be having the same figure. If you don't have the same figure, then there is some what an adjustment that you need to do. Maybe errors have been made. You need to chase out the errors because that's what they call it. That word balance sheet, list of balances of both the capital, liabilities, and assets, and the most of necessity balance, as we are going to see in our illustration. Okay. Now, uh, the balance sheets, those are they are treated the different items. I'm not going to look at uh, figures to illustrate what we just explained. To see whether everything will be the same with balance. Now, the following, let's read the question. The following balances were extracted from the books of Bosse Aditor Enterprise as at December 31st, 1983. I guess nobody was born then. 1983, capital, drawings, cash and bank, debtors, creditors, land and building. Furniture, machinery, stock at close. Stock at close is always used, not opening stock. The net profit for the year. Then the question was, you are required to prepare the balance sheet as at what? 31st December 1983. Now, the first thing you should do is write down the name of the business. Bosse Adetero Enterprises. Then, bring out the two, to start with fixed assets, you can put the current assets, now before you do anything, always make sure, take note of, this capital will be on this side, Drawings will go along with this. Cash and bank, current assets. Debtors, current assets. Creditors, current liability. Land and building, fixed assets. Furniture, fixed assets. Machinery, fixed assets. Stock at close, current assets. Then this net profit will be adjusted with this capital. So doing something like this, you already have a view of where everything will be in your balance sheet. We can start with capital. How much is our capital? 335,955. Then add up your what? Net profits. Net profit of 286. 260. So let's add it up. This 5, this 11, carry 1, this 10 plus this 12, carry 1, this plus this 6, 12, carry
carry one, this plus this four plus this twelve, carry one, then this plus this four plus this six. So six hundred and twenty-two, two hundred and fifteen. Why are we adding to the net pro uh, the net profit to the capital? You may ask. This net profit is added to the capital because it is assumed the profit is plowed back into the business. So plowing it back means you add up, you shoot off your capital. Then you will minus those drawings. It can be in cash, it can be in kind, uh, it can be in goods or boots. Less drawings. 120. This minus this. 5, borrow 1 there, put it, level minus 2, 9, take 1 out of this place, put it on this, 11 minus 4, 7, 1, 2 minus 1, 1, 5. So this is the capital figure remaining. Then will come the liabilities. And what is the liabilities there? Creditors. How much? 301,065. So this plus, okay, let's leave that aside. Then let's go into the fixed assets. The fixed assets, fixed assets, land and building, land and building, 150,000, furniture. We can make two one fifty furniture one forty then machinery one sixty so everything will give us one forty plus one sixty 300 plus this 450,000. So total fixed asset is 450,000. Then we'll come under the current asset. Cash at bank 129,000. Debtors 112, 300. Then what other current assets? Stock. Stock at close one twenty one five sixty. Now matching everything together, let's put it again. One twenty nine thousand one one two three hundred. Then one twenty one five sixty. So this plus this, everything given zero six eight. The comma nine plus two eleven plus this twelve two. Put one here. One plus two three plus this four plus this six. Then this. 362,860 plus 450,068. Then 0 plus this 2, 2. 5 plus this 6, 11, 1. Put 1 here. 1 plus 4, 5 plus this 8. Then coming to this side, the two sides must be balanced. If now maybe there's wrong, but let's look at it. 5 plus 5, 10. Take 1. 1 plus 9, 10. Plus this 6, 16. Put 1 here. 1 plus 7, 8. Plus this, z plus this 0, 8. Then 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 0, 1, 8 plus 3, 12, 5 plus 3, 8. So looking at it, the two sides are balanced. That means the total 
of this liability which involves capital and creditors is equal to the total of the fixed asset and what current asset. That means this our balance sheet is appropriate. So the name of the business should be up here. Bosse and the enterprises and balance sheet as at 31st December 1983. So that's it. So next time when you see a question like this, take note of which is which, like which will be in the current asset, which will be in fixed asset, which will be in current liability. At the time you may have long-term liability, then the capital, always adjust it. If it's net loss, assuming it is net loss, we will deduct. But net profit is always added. Because it is believed that net loss is reduction of capital. But net profit is addition to capital. So, until we see in the next class, thank you.